We're back with breaking news. The Pentagon has just identified two Navy SEALs who were declared dead after going missing off the coast of Somalia. They are Navy Special Warfare Operator First Class Christopher J. Chambers and Navy Special Warfare Operator Second Class Nathan Gage Ingram. Both were lost in a nighttime raid on a ship carrying Iranian-made weapons. Let's bring in NBC News Pentagon correspondent Courtney QB. Courtney, this is an unfortunate development here. What more can you tell us about these two SEALs now that we have their names? So we now know that they both were West Coast-based uh, SEALs. That means they were part of a Naval Special Warf Warfare Group 1 based in, in California. Uh, we see them up on the screen there. Christopher Chambers was, has, was 37 years old, and he'd been serving in the military for more than a decade. Uh, Nathan Gage Ingram, he went by Gage, according to the, the U.S. Navy. He'd been in for about five years, spending all of his time based in the, on a West Coast-based SEAL team. And as you mentioned, Zinclay, uh, the, the two SEALs, these two Navy sailors, were both lost on January 11th. They were part of a small group of U.S. Navy SEALs who were on a small inflatable boat. You can see there in the Gulf of Aden off the coast of Somalia. They were going to interdict a dhow. They were going to check out this, this small ship that was suspected of having some illicit weapons on board. In fact, you can see the photos there that the U.S. Navy collected from that boat. It did, in fact, have ballistic missile components and parts going from Iran, headed to Houthi rebels in Yemen when the Navy uh, interdicted that, that ship, intercepted them. The, the, Houthi, the, the members of that crew were actually taken into detention. The Dow itself was sunk, and then we saw that they, they were able to, to um, confiscate the weapons that were on board. But during this interdiction, this, it was nighttime, the seas were choppy. One of these sailors went overboard, the other jumping in to save his buddy, and now they both have been lost since then. There was an extensive search and rescue effort, but the Navy calling that off on Sunday, now declaring, sadly, uh, these two SEALs deceased and calling off the rescue effort. And the rescue effort is done. Now this is a recovery mission, according to the Defense Department. So how much longer do those efforts continue? It depends on the mission here. I, I will say, officials say we should expect for, for, for days to come for them to continue to talk about this as a recovery mission. I think the difference will be now there is an acknowledgement that they do not sadly expect to find these two uh, sailors alive, Sinclair. All right, Courtney QB with the latest. Thank you. Thanks for watching. Stay updated about breaking news and top stories on the NBC News app or follow us on social media.